provision in life is your personal lust. There's a secret to lust because it occupies the mind so much that it actually makes other things that God wants to do irrelevant in a moment. If you ever study lust, Lust will magnify something far above God. And it'll cause all of your energy to go in the direction of that. In all actuality, the lust is Satan's plan to stop your prosperity. Enough 
fleshly body like you? What is the transference? The transference is that man made them self slaves to lust. But through Jesus, lust has been made a slave to man. I want you to think about it. If you think about it, man became slaves to their lusts, but through Jesus, lust became slave to man. So the time was to get you to be occupied with lust. And make it look like you couldn't overcome it. But what Jesus did was switch the narrative and showed you that lust is a slave to you. So he was tempted all points. Saints, you know what the Holy Ghost was telling me today? The Holy Ghost said that everything is not documented in the scripture about my temptations. It's not written in the Bible of the times where I confronted different departments of sin. It's not in the Word for a reason. But as you walk the, the spiritual path, the Holy Spirit will guide you into the same temptations. And then the word said that he doesn't give you more than you can bear. So God measures how much Satan could speak to you. You'll be shocked sometimes. Satan was only supposed to be able to say one thing to you. But Satan is now able to say 30 things because you found interest in the conversation. That's why the Bible said you resisted that. He, she, rakishi, and she, she, and kiki going free from you. So and what happens if Satan sees no resistance? The conversation continues. Struggle is simply a, conversa a, a continuation of a conversation with the serpent. That's what it is. What was the major objective to stop the prosperity of Adam? So when Abel started sowing seed, Satan seized the prosperity of Lord to rise up again. What did Satan want to do to the prosperity of Lord to, to stop it? You notice the prosperity of anointing is being seen through Abel. And saints, as soon as Abel is building that prosperity platform again. Now Satan is rising up and speaking to Cain's heart. We need to get him out of the way. Here go another one. I thought I eliminated one already. Here goes somebody else coming on the scene. After 
The thief kills Cain. Abel, rather. The Bible says that Seth came later on. And after Seth, men begin to call upon the name of the Lord. What does that mean? So Abel returned back to the earth in another body. Men begin to look towards the Lord because that what was Abel's testimony. Saints, Genesis 5 says that God made man in his image, male and female, he created them. Adam was not the only person created. The Bible said God made Adam, but guess what? God didn't make Adam in the garden. Read the word. It said that God took the man and put him in the garden. Which means the garden didn't have no man there. But man was on the earth. He picked Adam and put him in the garden because he chose Adam amongst men. So when Cain kills Abel, the Bible says that Cain got a wife. When he left God's presence. That's what the word says. Because the people that was apart from who God picked, which was Adam, they were not of God. Cain has to leave the presence of God. Then the Bible says he went going to take him a while. These were the same wives and picks of women that we see in Genesis 6. So saints, what happened to Adam when he sinned against God? I know some of y'all never heard this before. I know that. When Adam sinned against God, where did God drive him out? He drove him back where he found him. He pit him back. The garden was a promotion because Adam was a he was created to be a friend of God. God, when he made him, he said, I'm going to start my divinity officially through this one. That's why the Bible said through one man's sin, because God had put credibility in Adam. He didn't put it in the other males and females that he made. He put it in Adam. Read the Bible. Genesis chapter 5. He created man, male and female, he created them. So these were the male and female. These were the female that Cain was able to take a wife from. They was outside of the garden. Adam was made outside of the garden too. You think that God made Adam in the garden. He didn't make him in the garden. Read the word. He took him and put him in the garden. Which means he was somewhere else. there was a community out there that when they saw him 
they was going to render unto him what he did to his brother because he also knew that they didn't know the Lord. Cain knew that the people out there was wicked. So he told the Lord, they're going to get me. And what did God tell him? I put a mark on you to protect you from this. Who are they? If there's nobody created, why does he need a mark on him to? Now you understand the mystery of the story. God had placed premier sonship in Adam. Adam represented God's image as the leader, the culprit. That's why his sin mattered. The other people's sin didn't matter. See, when God gives you authority, what you do matters. Adam's authority matters. Because God picked him out of all the creation and said, out of you, I'm going to make you carry my glory. So now you know. So there was a whole community that God had made. He, so, so when you see Eve come out of Adam, these other women didn't come out of Adam. Adam didn't have no, 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 no children. Adam's children was Cain and Abel. So God was making these males and females. That's why you see Lamech and all these different ones in the scripture. They had, one of them had two wives and he killed somebody too. In Genesis, I'll talk to you about it another time. He killed somebody. This was not Cain's son. So where did he come from? God made him. They was already in the community apart from the Garden of Eden. That's why I'm telling you. Nobody occupied the Garden of Eden. Africans didn't occupy the Garden of Eden. Iranians didn't occupy the Garden of Eden. The Garden of Eden was exempt from man's presence. Because God did an experiment with Adam. And he knew Adam was going to sin. But Adam was created to display the mercy and the love of God that causes you to have the opportunity to go further and further, no matter what type of person you are, he still gives you a chance. But God had already crucified the Lamb because he knew Adam was going to sin. But like I told you, he's invested in the moment. Even though he knows the beginning from the end, he'll act like he don't. So that he can give his full self to the moment. that's watching me, you've been here before. God giving you another chance. You've been here before. There are people actually in the natural that's not even saved. That they was in a war in 1960s and they come back in the year 2000 and they're in another body. And if you talk to the person, they'll say, here, I did this, and they know how they died. They know 
what they died from. They know the exact events. There's real people like that and they're not even saved. There's people right now that have been interviewed that they know their history in another body. This is real. People call them aliens because they, the word alien means that somebody that's illegally invading a place without right. That's what alien means. That's why they call Mexicans sometimes. They call them aliens. They call people from overseas aliens because they say they don't have a right to America. That's why they do that. They call them illegal aliens. The word alienated means that you don't have a right to something. So aliens are simply principalities and powers. These are fallen angels. And where are they set up? In the second heaven. This is where the prince of Persia is. The prince of Persia was set up in above space. And the vehicles that people see, they call it UFO. They call it uh, spaceship. They call it all that stuff. But these are their chariots. That's what happens. This world, and then there's a hell below. Why I be preaching to you all so strong? I don't want you to go down to that place. Because there's people that exist there. that betrayed God, when he let them come in a body, they spent all eternity forever. What is eternity forever? They don't never come out. And they suffer. And they are tormented. Do you know that there's people that had encounter with principalities and they put chips in their bodies and that person suffers health problems. And the doctors don't know how to explain it. They need the prophet. The prophet knows all of that secret. There's people right now that have gotten pregnant by what they call aliens and bore a baby on the earth. There's people right now that give their story. They go on the news. It's, it's public. They go on the news. They try to tell but people think they're crazy. They don't understand. There are fallen angels that appear in people's backyards and scare them because they don't know Jesus. They don't know what they're seeing. Some of them are tall in stature. Most of them that are tall in stature was of the great rank. That's why they were made so tall. Because they moved with heavy assignments from God. But when they fell away, some of them are on the earth. That's where in Revelation, what did the Bible says in Revelation chapter 12, where was Satan cast down? to the earth and to the sea. Now you understand why they talk about water spirits. Water spirits are simply fallen angels that occupy the water. That's why you got the Bermuda Triangle. You got places where people drown and they get sucked and if they was to tell you they tell you they saw something. But they don't live to tell you. Saints, there's a hell below. You don't want to go there. One precious thing the Holy Spirit does is give you the chance to make your decisions for your life. The Lord lets you make your own decisions. You can choose to do whatever.
But there's going to come a day where you're not going to be in your feelings no more. And you're going to have to answer for everything you did. Just think about that. A lot of times you do stuff because you're in your feelings. I'm in my feelings. I'm in my feelings. But there's coming a day where you're not going to be in your feelings. And you're going to be in your right mind to comprehend everything that you did. It says, the Bible says, those whose name was not written in the Lamb's book of life was cast. See, it's a cast. You know, when you're on a TV show, they said this is the cast of the TV show. Well, they were cast into the lake of fire. That means that they become the, the population of hell. And cast means also they were thrown in. They didn't want to go. They was forced.
then to get engrafted in the world. And after that, they never return again. Your wonderful 